Now, from part three, here he is, Metal Man, 8713, here he comes now. Da, 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 da. One minute, I'm going to have to move this, move this over here so you can see me a bit better. Okay guys, welcome to part three of this video, and for those of you joining in, I am doing a three part video of my CD collection. I've done, I've got quite a big, big upload on two CD racks, one there and one on the other side of this big bookcase. From now, I'm going to show you part three of my CD collection, and this, in, which is this lot here. This is the one which I've been building up, actually. So, yep, well, here we go. Let's get started. Let's get started. Um, of this, the, of this one, I don't think I've really shown this one, I really counted it, but till now. And since it's near Christmas, near Christmas month, December, I'm going to show you this. This is a, like, a three disc compilation album of many great Christmas and festive Yuletide classics. It's quite a good Christmas album, actually. Well, anyway, I've already shown this in part one, but guys, we don't need to go through that. Well, anyway, here we go. We've got, um, got Kiss Double Platinum compilation album. This was their very first one, compilation album. Actually, quite good. And uh, this thing, this is a CD which was recorded years and years ago when I was younger, from when I was on a school when I, when I was on a school trip to um, East Barnaby when back in primary school in them um, when I was in year five so yes I caught that on CD for the journey so yeah got a, another Europe compilation album here the final uh, oh. sorry about that anyway this is Europe the collection it's got some classic Europe songs on here quite good compilation album in fact uh, this apart and also in comparison to the other two, this is not really in any particular order. Well, sort sort of, but it's mixed up a bit. Got another classic. I made now. I mean, Motorhead album here. Got Iron Fist. Brilliant. Got and we've got a live album, and, and here we've got a live album, live album and live DVD. The World Is Ours Volume Two. Quite brilliant, actually. What the hell type guess these? <coughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that, excuse me. <laughs> I've got a bit of a cold in case if you guys didn't know. They were quite brilliant. Quite brilliant here. Uh, I've got a bit of, here's something a bit different here, we've got Slipknot, this is the second album, Iowa, quite good actually. Got, got two other classic Scorpions albums in here, this is one of their best ones, <laughs> Love at First Stin, brilliant. Well, and again, the Scorpions are very famous for doing covers like this, so... More, nearly everywhere sought this apart from Walmart who didn't take this cover. They actually took this picture on the back of the band members that made it to the cover instead for when they sold this album in Walmart. Well anyway, apart from that it is a great Scorpions album. Classic. Look at that cover. Fantastic. Um, Animal Magnetism here. Another great classic one. Brilliant. Featuring the classic song. And to make it real, the zoo. I don't know how this one got in here. David Bowie, let's, uh, let's dance. I have no idea how this got in here. Oh, what? Oh, I think I got this like when I'm trying to make this collection, starting to try to make the collection a bit diverse. Possibly, I think that's I think that's how I came about that one. Slipknot. This is their most recent album, the Great, the Great Chapter. I still need to listen to this, but I've listened to a, a sample, a hint of this. It's quite good, actually. Yeah, I have no idea what that is in the back, but it's disgusting. <laughs> if if you, or if you if if you guys what, tell me what that is on the back, please let me know. I, th I think it's intestines and guts and everything. He's a he's a classic 1980s band here for you, Marillion, Misplaced Childhood. This is their not only number one album in 1985. Brilliant album, actually. Very good progressive rock playing and songwriting. And great, 
of all kinds of fishes as well. I've got another bit of their back catalogue, the next album, Clutching at Straws, which was at the time the youngest, I mean the the only marine album to spend shorter time in the UK album charts, unlike the other marine albums at the time. It's only spent 15 weeks. This one, this one spent 40 something weeks in there. Which, which um, yeah. Well, anyway, but it still is a quite good marine album. If you, I have no idea who those are on the cover. If you know who they are, please, as always, comment in the post in the comment section below. We've got Mortehead, we've got another classic album here, Aftershock. Brilliant. <laughs> we've got another bit of we've got another bit of the back catalogue here. We've got Overkill. Uh -huh. Which I've which now I've got on vinyl as well. <laughs> got um, Judas Priest, the most recent album, Redeemer of Souls, quite good album there for you. So this is the this is the deluxe edition as well, so it's got five extra tracks on the back as you can see. Great album cover, great album, fantastic. Long live the priest! ACDC's most recent album, Rock or Bust, have seen this, look at this cover. What's this? Great album cover actually. We got cover. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, you know, fantastic ACDC album, and that and that album was the first to have and that album was the very first album to have Stevie Young on on rhythm guitar who replaced his uncle Malcolm Young. Malcolm Young, Malcolm Young, bless him. Your great great guitar player in that band is he's been treated currently in Australia because he's got, I mean because he's got dementia now. He's been very cared for, which, which, I do hope, I do hope they care for him well in there actually. So yeah. Well anyway. And well, anyway, back to the collection. I've got Marillion, Sounds That Can't Be Made. So this is the most recent album. This features Steve Hoggath. Okay. Quite good, actually. Got, I've got, um, one minute. I've got Europe, the second album, which, which is quite a good Europe album, actually. Winds of Tomorrow featuring the, this features when they were all heavy metal before glam metal. <laughs> And also, this album is also is also contains the original version of "Open Your Heart," and they redid it in 1988 for their album "Out to This World," which I am going to be showing you after the next one. This is the most recent Airborne album, "Black Dog Barking." Oh, quite good. Actually, this is the deluxe edition, so there is there is a a live album on here as well called "Live at Wacken." Open air, straight from the board to the CD, which you know, I still have to listen to, see if it's any good, but I do believe it'll be quite good, actually. <laughs> Got Europe, Out of This World, a really great 80s band, actually, this is when they are at the peak of success. Quite good album, actually, brilliant. I still need to listen to it, actually, bits of it, well, this, the bits of it, the not it's all fine, it's been good. Biff, Metallica, and Justice for All. <laughs> First one featuring Jason just Newstead after the untimely death of Cliff Burton. Actually, God bless his soul and bless him. Actually, great bass player. If you if you can email Burton, you're a legend. I'll see you later. At the moment, for, you know. So yeah. Well, anyway, got some classic Judas Priest. Sad Winds of Destiny. Brilliant, great album cover here, by the way, with the Fallen Angel there. Well, there, well, there, well, this is on a couple of other albums, including Angel Retribution as well. It's got quite some of the classics on here, actually. Yep, Victim of Changes and a Ripper, which Rob Halford famously described. Ooh, a Victorian metal drama with a slight incision here and there. <laughs> yep got some more classic Judas Priest, 70s Priest, Killing Machine, which, which it, it, from this picture, the band are in leather and studs for the first time. Brilliant album. Got Stained Class, 
Judas Priest, Stained Cross, and Judas Priest, Sin After Sin. Um, I've got this album on deluxe edition CD and vinyl, and this is Motorhead, No Sleep Till Hammersmith. Some of this was recorded at, at the Odeon in at the at the Hammersmith Odeon in London, the Leeds, and also City Hall in Newcastle. In case if you guys didn't know, well, actually, great classic live album, brilliant. Uh, Motorhead, pure metal down to the core. <laughs> yeah, and beautifully British as well. Actually, the band are. Right, so we've got a bit of ACDC in here, we've got Flick of the Switch, one of their like, more down period albums. Their Breakthrough, Highway to Hell, and also coincidentally the last to feature this man here, Bon Scott. Yeah, so we have a classic album, and also got another Bon Scott one here called Let There Be Rock. Brilliant. You didn't see the you didn't see this next album in you didn't see this you didn't see this one in in part one but it's here Pyromania a bit of classic Def Leppard for you brilliant <laughs> we've got we've got another Def Leppard compilation album here best of. Quite good compilation album. This one, the first ones I got, I got it 2008 when I was 11. That album. Got classic, more classic thrash here. Anthrax. A modern living. Brilliant. More Metallica here. We've got. We've got. Oh, that one's upside down. Probably gonna have to put it the right way. We've got. Lord. And Reload. Quite good albums, actually. Both were recorded at the same time, so it sounds like a double album, actually. Actually, they're both quite good. We've got Metallica, Ride the Lightning. <laughs> Cl classic album cover, fantastic. We've got Megadeth, we've got Cryptic Writings. Megadeth. So far, so good. So what? Right on here. And Megadeth. And Megadeth. Classic album here. Peace sells, but who's buying? I have done a cover of the title track, by the way. So check that video out after this video if you haven't seen it. I did a mistake and a funny mistake in there where, in the very first verse, there was supposed to be system, and I accidentally said sister. It said. I was supposed to say, what do you mean I don't support your system? I accidentally said, what do you mean if I don't support your sister? <laughs> quite a funny mistake. I recommend you check it out after this video. Yeah, quite a good cover, actually. And, and there's one bit where I imitated one bit of the music video where you can see only Dave Mustaine's mouth. <laughs> Got Van Halen here. Women and Children First. Quite good. Ozzy Osbourne in here. We've got we have Ozzy Osbourne. We've got No Rest for the Wicked right here. Under that's his Wicked followers. <laughs> and the classic, classic all time favourite of the band, Ozzy Osbourne, I mean. Blizzard of Oz. Brilliant. Got another ACDC one here. Blow up your video. The last one to feature Simon Wright on drums before he moved to Dio. Brilliant. We've got some Ozzy Osbourne era, Black Sabbath in here. We're on to Black Sabbath and this is this is this time it's the Ozzy Osbourne era. Which I've got what there's all the albums in here actually. And the new one as well. This is Black Sabbath debut album for great cover. The very first metal album ever yet. Ever. I salute it. <laughs> yeah. Another classic, Paranoid. Their only number one album up until 2013. Brilliant. Featuring the classic heavy metal track, Paranoid. War Pigs and Iron Man. Very classic tracks on there. Black Sabbath, Master of Reality. Quite a good album. 
um, Volume 4, which was originally going to be called, it's one of the songs of this album, um, I think it was originally going to be called Snowblind or Supernaut, I think that's what, that's what it was going to be called, I don't know, I have to look it up, but anyway, quite good album, and it features a, only one track which stands out from all the rest called Changes, quite a good ballad, quite a good actually, got Sabbath, bloody Sabbath, hey, <laughs> excellent. Black Sabbath, Sabotage. Um, Black Sabbath, Technical Ecstasy, when they're experimenting with hard rock a bit, it's good, okay. And this was the last one with Ozzy prior to two couple of years ago, Never Say Die. Well, there's quite a good title track on here, but it's okay, but I, I prefer the earlier Sabbath albums and the current one. So um, yep, yeah, got got Saxon in here. In here we've got um, Power and the Glory. Quite good. This one's missing the case. It's broken somewhere on the shelf over there. But there's the, the Eagles Landed. Great album. Great album. Album. Great. Got Saxon, Denim and Leather, which I've now got on vinyl as well. And now with, with more Saxon, Strun Under the Law. Fantastic. Got another classic, Wheels of Steel. Look at that cover. Fantastic. One there. Fantastic one on there. And Saxon debut album. Saxon with this nutty Saxon on with a sword, you know. Um, yep. Or Viking, I could say. Something a bit different here. Pantera, Vulgar display of power featuring the legendary guitarist, 90s guitarist, Dimebag Daryl. Actually, quite good, actually, in fact. And their breakthrough album, Cowboys from Hell, which you can see them in this see them in the Western sort of pub on the cover. Quite a good album, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. His vocal, his vocal style was like you know, yeah, no, 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 and then it started getting deeper afterwards, or more gravelly afterwards. So yeah. Well, anyway, we've got Black Sabbath's latest album, Thirteen. Well, hello guys again. Um, I have have to apologise, and for the few other times it's happened in this video with the camera suddenly gone off. The previous times, I mean, like if I wanted to record a full video on this camera, it, on this camera it goes up for about twenty minutes. But if you're like recording very long videos on my camera for about five clips, possibly, I don't know. Oh, I had to have work on it, but this time after apologise, my camera clicked off because it was out of battery. I had to let it charge up for half an hour. Well, anyway, before I was so rudely. I was so rudely cut off, I was on this album, which was Black Sabbath's new album, 13, which actually, it's a quite a, quite a good, I could, I could say a classic for Black Sabbath album, really good, fantastic, yep, and great cover as well, there is a, there is a 3D, there is a, the Under Dokes edition, the cover, that was actually a 13 men out strife and before it burst into flames and and yep. Well anyway we've got David Lee Roth debut album. Soul album Eat 'em and Smile on the Van Halen theme. Actually quite a good album actually. As well so yep, I think it's probably his best solo album actually. Right, what have we got here? We've got another classic band. you've seen this in part two. Now it's in part three, we've got Rainbow. Long live rock and roll, look at that cover, fantastic, classic album, great. And, and also we've got, um, and also we've got probably the best Rainbow album ever, in my opinion. Rainbow, Rainbow, Rising, or the album's called Rising, or most people call it Rainbow Rising, here it is, G great classic album sleeve, fantasy covered sleeve. Great classic heavy metal album. I, yeah, I thoroughly recommend this album if you haven't listened to it. Great album. Actually, so yep. So I'll say again, look at cover. Fantastic. 
and the back. There's only six tracks on there, but still great quality. Great and brilliant. <sighs> right, we've got another Saxon album here, Crusader. Very good album work, by the way, but okay album, apart from the title track. So, yep, so quite good. We've got White Snake. We've got a deluxe edition of this album called Slide It In. It's the 25th anniversary edition. Very, very good, actually. And this, I'll show you in here right now in the booklet, if I can get it out. This this was the original album work, actually, and this is the model who did it, actually, isn't it? Pretty classic album sleeve. Fantastic. Good one. This was the one that launched Saxon in North America. It started to... And, and also this album, this is, on this Deluxe Edition there are two mixes of the album, one which came out here which most people thought was bland and then there was a remix for America with Neil Murray back on bass and new members John Sykes and and Cozy Powell. Mm, brilliant. White Snake. Oh, well there's quite a few titles this one actually, it's a very very good very great White, White Snake album. It, it was actually released as um, Serpent's Albus, yeah, I don't know if you could see it, but you could see it right in that little symbol right there. That's what it was called in Japan. In America it was, it was released as White Snake, and here it was released as 1987. Well, actually, and also actually, it is quite a good White Snake album, probably the best one they've done. I've got that on vinyl as well. I've got Iron Maiden, classic, some classics here, got Killers. Great album cover, fantastic. And the last one with Paul Diano, first with Adrian Smith. Some classic Jubas Priest. We've got Turbo right here. And before that, we had Defenders of the Faith. Great album covers, actually, these. Screaming for Vengeance. Screaming for Vengeance. Probably one of my all time favourites, actually. Apart from British Steel, which I'm, I'm going to show you after the next one. And before that, we had Point of Entry, a hard rock styled effort, more commercial effort. This was the cover east, where I am right now in the, in the part in this part of the world. And there was actually, I think there was also actually an American cover as well, but it was quite different. This one, well, still actually, it's quite good. Judas Priest album, still quite good. Judas Priest album. Um, Probably my all-time favourite, well, one of two, British Steel. Yeah, what many people call what many people call as true heavy metal. Here it is, British Steel. Well, actually, this is the 30th anniversary. The original cover had a hand holding that razor blade on there. Actually, it's the 30th anniversary edition. Came out five years ago, and this one is also got a live DVD on the back of a concert from 2009 in 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 Florida and also it's got a behind the scenes look at the making of the album British Steel interview actually in one minute I'm gonna twizzle this around a bit so you can see me right we've got Motorhead debut album Motorhead with a great great cover great classic Motorhead album here fantastic we've got we've got one of two Blaze Bailey I made near albums. This is the first one, The X Factor. This is the original gory cover with Eddie being mutilated and taken apart, as you can see on the cover. And also, there's a cover in here, upside down, where this is was a least offensive cover released in some parts because they did not like the original cover and the gore on the front. But still, it's quite an alright I made an album. Yeah. It is a very classic album here. Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. Br brilliant. Classic. They've reached the zenith of their powers in the 80s, including this one. Well, it, well the zenith was the mid-80s, if you like. We've got Classic Mortehead here, Ace of Spades. We've got a brand new CD, which I got in October, called The Darkness, Last of Our Kind. They're quite good, good and brilliant. Actually, one of my two favourites albums at the band. And also, did you know that they're releasing a deluxe edition which features a few new bonus tracks? And also, for the first time since 2003, they're releasing a, they're, they're releasing a new Christmas song and video. It's called I Am Santa. 
about well really really for my really, really, really for me I would recommend you check it out in December but simple really we really, really could decide when to watch it if watch it if you want to and check it out after this video because and well it's near December two days <coughs> anyway I've got I've got I've got the Derek house album with a photo frame album or it could be or it could be just a plain old photograph taken with a blank disc inside <laughs> joking it isn't it's Led Zeppelin's fourth album great classic album here here brilliant nothing on it actually what a great album brilliant and we've got I've got this on vinyl and CD this is the remastered cover where they made the cover 3d I made debut album I made and got a great cover on there, so yep, fantastic. <coughs> got another Michael Schenker one. We've got, uh, we've got Bridge the Gap right here. Brilliant, right there. Great classic one. Brilliant. On there, we've got a few other more. We've got a few other I made albums. We've got um, Somewhere in Time, set in a futuristic future. <laughs> with that on the back, I mean, so yeah, that's the stage set. That's actually the stage set for the tour, if you like. We've got Peace of Mind, classic album, and probably me all time one of me all time favorite ones. Number of the Beast. Look at that cover, fantastic. Six six six. The Number of the Beast. Right, right. Well, this one, this one's actually part of that collection over there, but I forgot to show on it. Europe, Bag of Bonds, quite good album, actually, as if, actually, I've got, so, these are some new purchases which I bought, I've got unboxing videos on a couple of these, so check them out, got Saxon, Battering Ram, great, great one, classic one, got Def Leppard's new album here, well, just simply called Def Leppard, it will actually, that's quite a good Def Leppard album, um, what was in here was, I'll tell you about it in the Me Vinyl collection, but I did get this, the CD in here with, with sort of like a triple set really, a, a vinyl version of this album, the CD and a digital download, and that is Motorhead Bad Magic, which is on vinyl down there in near me music system. So yeah, I'll show you the vinyl in me video. Well, actually, it'll be quite a good, you're quite a good Motorhead album. And last but not least, we have... You've seen this in the intro many, many times, and also got an unboxing there as well. I'm in the Book of Souls. This is the edition where it come in this form of case. <coughs> I'm sorry. I made in Book of Souls. Actually, it's a great album, by the way. I recommend this I made album if you haven't listened to it. This album is quality. It's it, it's classic. Really great album. Album. Well, anyway, that is it for that not a minute. I'm going to swizzle the camera back around over here. And, and I'm going to move the footstool into position. Sit down. <coughs> right, I know what. There is a lot of great music from of this genre and from the era. But the rest of it... I know the rest of it is on vinyls down there, down there, and also cassettes in a footstool which I'm laying my legs and feet on. So that is all the CDs, and that is and that's part of the collection I've done for now. So tomorrow I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a collection video of the vinyls and the singles and the tapes in here. So until then, I'll see you guys inside my next video, and thanks for watching. Please comment, rate. Subscribe if you like my videos and also thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.